Hello, wonderful people. My name is Mike, and today I have a real special treat for you, as I'm gonna be opening the Pokemon Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Box. Now this set is absolutely massive, and at $100 retail, it is one of the most expensive sets that I have personally ever owned of Pokemon cards. It comes with 16 packs, two amazing promo cards, a Golden Zacian and a Golden Zamazenta, both of which are fantastic quality, as well as a whole lot of extras and a great box to hold everything in. Before we begin, if you guys enjoy the video, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. Even you guys checking this out really means a lot to me. I do appreciate every single one of you. And of course, if you want to join me over on Twitch, link is always in the description below. We have a whole lot of fun over there. I would love to see you guys come by and say hi. So without further ado, I am so excited to crack this box open. Let's get right into it. All right, my friends. So in my hands, I am holding one of the most massive sets of Pokemon cards I have ever owned in my entire life, the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Box. Now, as you guys can see, this thing is enormous and it is very well put together. I don't know if you guys can tell from looking at it, but this thing has some real quality to the box that they put it in. I'm excited just to open it up and have the box for myself. But as you see here, inside it are 16 packs of Pokemon cards, Two amazing promos, some coins, some dice, some sleeves. It comes with a whole lot of goodies. A code card in here as well, a rule booklet. But you know what? Let's stop talking about it. Let's open this sucker up. If I can find a place that I can do that. Here we go. Love to do it without causing any damage to the box. And we are in. Now, I was really lucky, guys. I was actually able to find this at retail at my local Target. I couldn't believe it. They've been sold out pretty much since they came out, but I must have gotten there at just the right day because they had actually a few of these in stock. And of course I grabbed one, left the other ones on the shelves for anybody else who hopefully was able to find one. Because I know this is a very sought after box for the holiday season. But here we go. As you see, this box has a nice glossy finish to it. Looks like it's like magnet sealed. Oh, it's so cool. So let's turn it around. Oh man. Oh man, that is such a cool set. You guys can see here, it actually has the mat with the outline of Zacian and Zamazenta on it. Really cool, it comes with a whole bunch of containers here. But let's see what's inside. In this top part, we have our rule booklet, as well as, I think this is a guidebook. Yeah, series player guide, wow. So it has a whole bunch, what is this? So this is the uh, all the promo cards in here, very cool. I'm gonna have to check that out a little later. And of course, the code card, which I will keep for myself. That is what is in there. And this one over here, oh, here we go, guys. Our first promo card, the Golden Zashian V. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at that artwork, look at the outline on it. Holy crap, look at this card. Thankfully, ours came in good condition. I've heard some people saying that, uh, the cards sometimes tend to fall behind the box, but in this case, it was right where it was supposed to be. Very, very nice. We also have our Zashian sleeves. These are absolutely beautiful as well. Look at those. The golden Pokeball, the black and gray outline. That is phenomenal. And it seems like we have some packs in here as well. Oh, looks like uh, the coin might have fallen out. I did hear complaints about that happening as well. But these are our Sword and Shield base set packs. Uh, what else do we have in here? These are the uh, dividers that go in there. And I thought I heard the coin. Yep, here we go. So there's our first coin. Wow. A golden Zashian coin. This thing actually has some real weight to it. This is really a quality piece here. They really did a great job with this, I gotta say. There is so much bang for your buck. I know it's $100, which the price might scare some people away, but... I mean, it really comes with some great stuff. Here are the damage counters. These are pretty weighty as well, honestly. I mean, I've opened a lot of Elite Trainer boxes. These might be some of the best ones I've ever seen. We have the dice, and oh my god, guys. Look at that. You guys hear that? That's how you know it's quality. These things, these things are weighted as hell. You got these ones as well. The golden ones, pretty much the same situation here. And then in the middle, we have a whole bunch of packs. So here are our four Darkness Ablaze packs as well as our four Rebel Clash packs. Awesome, absolutely cool. And then over here in the Zamazenta side, we have our golden Zamazenta V card. Holy crap, this one is just as clean as the other one. Absolutely beautiful, I am so excited just to own those. 
We have our Zamazenta sleeves, just as nice as the Zashian ones, and Vivid Voltage packs. So cool, four of those as well. So like I said, guys, 16 packs in total. A whole lot of chances for some great pulls here. There's our golden Zamazenta coin. Ah, oh, so nice. I am so excited for this box. And guys, as you can see, I mean, the box itself, you got all these, these uh, compartments. It is such a quality piece. I am excited to have this, to hold some of my more valuable cards, to hold, you know, some of the uh, promo cards I have. I think it's going to be a great piece to have. But without further ado, guys, let's jump right in to these packs. As you guys have seen from some of my other videos, every one of these sets does have some great cards that hopefully we can get our hands on here. I am not going to complain about anything that we pull, because honestly, this box set alone is really cool. I think it's worth the price of admission, so anything we pull is just kind of icing on top. But let's see if we can get lucky today. We're going to see what we can do. We have an Energy, a Lunatone, Staravia, Pupitar, Electrike, Dino, Passimian, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Reverse Golette, and a non-holographic Mimikyu. I'm going to try to get through these packs as fast as possible. I know there's 16 of them, which is a decent amount. So we're just going to see if we can get any pulls here today. I think that is a uh, safe bet here. And here we go. One, two, three, four. And this one, we have Lightning Energy, Furret, a Yellhorn, Flaffy, Wishiwashi, Qfant, Dino, Panseer, Mareep, a Reverse Pansage, and a non-holographic Dracozolt. No pulls yet, two packs in. I would love at least one pull out of, you know, some of these packs here. Every single one of these sets has great cards that we haven't pulled yet. I will take whatever we can get. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, Darkness Ablaze number three. We have a Fighting Energy, the Cape of Toughness, Vibrava, Simiseer, Mareep, Snubble, Tauros, great artwork on that. Rookity, Galarian, Mr. Mime, a reverse rare Lugia, very nice, and non hollow Feeble. But this reverse rare Lugia, that is pretty cool. We will put that right in the middle over there. And of course, Darkness Ablaze number four. There is a Charizard in this set, guys. That would be phenomenal if we could somehow pull that. I am not holding my breath, but we will see what we can get. Uh, one, two, three, four, and here we go. Fire Energy, Spike Myth, Bird Keeper, Steeny, Vanillite, Trap Money Trap Inch, Teddy Ursula, Panseer, Morlul, a Reverse Parasect, and a Mel Metal. So nothing too crazy out of that first set. We're going to go right in to Rebel Clash. Now in the past, I have opened an Elite Trainer box for the Rebel Clash set. I did pull the Toxicity VMAX. Not the golden one, however. I would absolutely love that. But we'll see if we can get lucky today. Here we go. We have an energy, of course. Hatchroom, Carcoal, Beware, Roly Coley, Stunky, Clefairy, Voltorb, Nosepass, a Reverse Hatchroom, and a Sigilyph. Guys, we're almost halfway through this set. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you guys think this is worth the $100 price point? I know that is no small price for any set of Pokemon cards. But I really feel like the quality of what they put into here makes it a little more worthwhile, you know? I mean, 16 packs is definitely great, but all the bonuses that come in here that you can't get anywhere else are really cool. Water, Masquerade, Nugget, Tranquil, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Natu, Haunage, Impidimp, Reverse Vulpix, and Holographic Flapple. Not too terrible there. We will take that. Rebel Clash, another one. But yeah, guys, I mean, those, to those two promo cards, I know in graded condition, they can go for a good amount of money. So, I mean, if you're somebody who's looking to flip, there's definitely opportunity with this as well. But if you're a collector like me, I think this piece is pretty worth it. Here we go, though. Energy, Full Heal, Sonya, another Masquerade, Stuffle, Coughing, Impidimp, Shinx, Sandy Gast, Reverse Boss's Orders. Very cool. And... A Santaconda V. There we go, guys. First pull of the day, Santaconda V. I don't think we actually have this card yet, but there we go. Nothing too crazy, but still, that is an awesome card to pull. We take that every single time. Awesome card. I do like Santaconda a lot. I think he's one of the cooler, newer Pokemon that they added into Sword and Shield. 
but here we go. Let me know, guys, what your favorite cards are from each one of these sets as well. I have obviously not pulled every single one of them, not even close. But still, what are your favorite cards that you've seen, or what are your favorite cards that you hope to pull if you're picking this set up for yourself? Twin Energy, Phalanx, Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Roly Coley, Metatite, Reverse Rare, Ninetales, and Galarian, Runa, Runa, Runa Regis? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Runa something. Runa Regis. Alrighty, let me organize that pile just a little bit over there. There we go. We're going to save Vivid Voltage for last. Let's jump in to the Sword and Shield base set. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know I have opened a lot of Sword and Shield base set packs from the Elite Trainer Box that we did, from the dollar packs that we opened up. We have had a lot of time in this set, and yet there are still a lot of cards that we have not pulled yet. Maybe today is our lucky day. Who knows? Only one way to find out, guys. Here we go. We have a Psychic Energy, Citrus Berry, Quillfish, Energy Switch, Grookey playing with a stick, Mudbray, Hoot Hoot, Pinchurian, Vulpex, Reverse, Pseudo Wudo, and Tapu Coco V. Very nice pull. There we go, guys. That is what we're looking for here. Pulls like this. Look at that artwork. I like Tapu Coco. The Tapus really grew on me after a little while. I'm not going to lie. But there we go, guys. Two good pulls so far. But let's keep going. We are not done yet. I would love at least one more pull. Maybe a golden card if we can get so lucky. Who knows? Every pack is a chance for greatness. You know what I always say. But here we go. We have a Lightning Energy, a Quick Ball, Galvantula, Air Balloon, Galarian Zigzagoon, Amuna, a Snom, Grookey again, Shelder, a Reverse Rotom Bike, and... Lapras V! There we go, guys! Another pull back to back! Look at the artwork on that. You know me, I love my Gen 1 Pokemon. Look at that, guys. Lapras V. Absolutely beautiful pull we just got there. Very hyped about that. But here we go. We have two more Sword and Shield packs. Can we go a perfect 4 for 4 in the Sword and Shield base set? There's no way, right? There's absolutely no way. That would be incredible. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can keep being so lucky. There's Sprite in the background if you guys heard her yawning over there. She's just waking up from her nap. We'll welcome her in as she settles down. Here we go. We have a Dubwool, Doug Trio, a Nintendo Switch, a Wooloo, Sobble, Pinchurian, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Galarian Ponyta, and a Zashian V! Let's go, guys! Another great pull from this set! I think this is like the third one of these I have, but I am not complaining at all. This is a sick pull that we just got here. Zashian V. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy crap. This box, the pulls in this box are incredible in the second half here. Holy crap. Let's hope we can stay as lucky for Vivid Voltage. Can we somehow get a Rainbow Pikachunk out of that set? That would be absolutely incredible. But here we go, guys. The last of the Sword and Shield base set. Can we go a perfect 4 for 4 out of the Sword and Shield base set packs? There is only one way to find out. Here we go. Fire Energy, Pseudo Wudo, Eldegoss. Whoop, I am getting a little too excited there. Energy Search, Grookey in a Tree, Q-Fant, Ball Toy, Chinchow, Sizzlipede, Reverse Galvantula going into a Delmise V. Guys, Sword and Shield base set. We went a perfect four for four. What are the chances of that? That is incredible. Nothing too, too crazy. But guys, four V cards in a row out of the Sword and Shield base set. We take that every single time. We really, really do. Beautiful card. Let's hope our hot streak can remain just as hot as it's been. We have four packs left, guys, and they are all Vivid Voltage. If I can somehow pull the Rainbow Pikachunk, I might lose my mind. I don't know what I'll do, guys. I am excited just at the idea of being able to pull that amazing, amazing card. Especially, I mean, if we could pull one of the secret rares, too, the amazing rares. I have not pulled a single amazing rare yet. I would love just one of those. I'm not going to be greedy. Just one of them. Can we get so lucky today? 
Here we go. We have a Psychic Energy, a Macargo, League Staff, Crocorock, Clobopus, Skiddo, a Shuppet, a Ferroseed, a Joltik. We have a Reverse League Staff going into a Charizard! Holy crap, we pulled a Charizard! It is a non-holographic, but guys, I don't care. It's still a Charizard. It's my favorite Pokemon. That is awesome. I don't even think this card is worth too much, but I'm not selling it anyways, guys. It looks like the top got a little, is it? Yeah, a little, little, uh, little chippy on the top there, but I don't care. This is going in the personal collection, guys. We pulled a Charizard card. Very awesome with Leon in the back there. First pack is kind of a success. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am pretty, pretty hyped about that. Let's see, though. We still have a lot more time here. A lot more. Well, really only three, but still. Three packs. That is three chances for greatness. Can we pull the Rainbow Pikachunk or one of those amazing rare cards? Let's find out. We have two energies back to back. We have a Mighty Anna, a Pinchurian, Talo, Yanma, Little Whoopie Boy, DDN. Pick a peck, Moo Moo Cheese as our reverse rare, and a Dialga for the rare. Holy crap. Holographic Dialga. Look at the artwork on this card. That is absolutely sick. I love pulling legendary Pokemon cards. I think that is a treat, even when they're just the holographic ones. That is still really, really cool. But here we go, guys. The last two packs of the box set. Can we finally pull one of those amazing rares or even the Rainbow Pikachunk? Let's find out. Lightning Energy, Alistair, Cramorant, Nessa, Ninkata, Pikapek, Poochiana, Rockruff, Blitzel, Reverse Eevee, and a Beedrill. So nothing crazy there, guys. But the last and not least of our packs here, we have a pack with the boy himself right on the cover, the Pikachunk. Can we get so lucky? Is there something amazing hiding in this? Is there last pack magic in this ultra premium collection box? Oh, let's find out. I, I am so excited. I really, really hope we can end this on a bang. If we can be so lucky. But here we go. I would take an amazing rare. I would take a Pikachunk, of course. I'll take whatever we can get here. Let's hope for a pull on the last pack. Here we go. We have an energy. We have an Electric. Delmize, Galarian Stunfisk, a little Fampy, Shuppet, Poochiana, a Voltorb, a Rockruff, Reverse Woobat, and the last card of the day is going to be a non-holographic Dreadnought. But guys, I still have no complaints here. Taking a look at what we pulled, we were able to get a handful of really cool cards, but most importantly, guys, we got these promos here. The Golden Zashian V. And, of course, the Golden Zamazenta V. These two alone are fantastic cards. And, honestly, the box they come in, all the extra goodies. I think this is pretty cool. But let me know what you guys think. Other collectors, let me know what you guys think out there. Have you picked one of these up for yourself? Do you plan on picking up one of these for yourself? Let me know your thoughts on the set. I know it is a little pricey, but I thought it was a very cool set. So, guys, if you made it all the way to the end, I greatly appreciate you. Thanks so much for checking out the video today. If you liked it, once again, feel free to leave a like, a comment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate every single one of you guys. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much again for checking it out. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.